Governor by Associates of South Texas. I'm going to show you a video of cataract surgery with the new Vividity range of focus intraocular lens implant. This is a patient with a posterior subcapsular cataract who has been marked at its steep meridian. You can see we're going to make a side port incision with a 15 degree blade and uh, 0.12 forceps and then we're going to make the main incision with a 2.4 millimeter double sided clear cornea blade and we keep this as a paracentesis incision as well. We're going to inject a little sugar cane which is a mixture of epinephrine and lidocaine to make this patient comfortable during cataract surgery. We are injecting a dispersive viscoelastic into the anterior chamber to give space and protect the delicate structures of the eye. We're going to proceed with a capsorexis using a utrata forcep uh, to make a round four to four and a half millimeter capsorexis that is good to capture the new six millimeter vividity lens. It's important to get a good overlap when taking out the cataract and putting an intraocular lens implant as this gives the lens a stable position. You can see we've completed hydrodissection with balanced salt solution, salt water to free up the cataract. We're going to use and a Koshi or Akahoshi uh, pre chopper to break the cataract into four pieces. And we've broken it successfully into two pieces. And we're going to break it into a further two pieces to give four quadrants. Uh, it's necessary to break the cataract into quadrants uh, to remove it through uh, the four and a half millimeter uh, opening of the anterior capsule we've just made. We use a Cybel or Connor wand as our second instrument and we're using the Stellaris phacal emulsification uh, unit to remove the cataract. We have it set for quadrant removal and as you can see the first quarter of the cataract comes out very quickly. We emulsify it through our handpiece which breaks it up into many little pieces um, and it's basically sucked out uh, through the middle part of the phacal emulsification handpiece, which is like a straw. Fluid is poured into the eye through the outer sleeve. You can see the cataract is nearly completely uh, removed. The epinucleus removes as well. We have now removed the phacal emulsification handpiece uh, from the eye. We are left with the cortical material, which is the surrounding a uh, par softer part of the cataract. We're going to remove this with irrigation aspiration using an automated irrigation aspiration handpiece. You can see the cortex very quickly uh, removes from uh, the eye. It's important to try to get all the peripheral cortex um, with this handpiece. And as you can see, we are removing some capsular forn fornices. Uh, cortex um, that was sub-incisional. We now use a 27 gauge uh, blunt cannula to basically power wash off the posterior capsule, removing all the small strands of the cortical material that are left over. This gives us a decreased chance of posterior capsule opacification, clouding of the capsule after surgery, um, and a better day one visual acuity. We filled the anterior chamber with uh, a cohesive viscoelastic and we are going to inject the new Vividity intraocular lens implant. It's a one piece acrylic six millimeter optic lens into the capsular um, bag and we're going to make sure of its position in the capsular bag using a uh, Sinsky hook to make sure the lens is under the anterior capsule. Uh, this is important um, as this will decrease the chance of a, a uveitis glaucoma hyphema syndrome uh, later in the patient's uh, postoperative course. Uh, once the lens is in the capsular bag and the haptics are in good position, we will hydrate the incisions starting with the side port incision and then 
hydrating the main incision to ensure a leak-free wound at the end of surgery. The position of the intraocular lens is good. We're going to remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber using the automated irrigation aspiration handpiece and uh, make sure that the, the viscoelastic is removed behind the intraocular lens by using a rock and roll technique. We will refill the anterior chamber with balanced salt solution through the side port incision. And I'm showing you here at a quarter speed the new Vividity intraocular lens central button that you can see here clearly uh, that is not visible to the patient, but this allows the patient to have that extended range of vision using two smooth surface transition elements on the anterior surface of the intraocular lens that works simultaneously to give a good range of focus versus distinct focal points for this lens. Thank you for your attention. This is Dr. Cavanaugh, Bio Associates of South Texas.